Hi, Dan Grodinger here for the Remote Services Group of Baker Hughes, the Ultrasound and Eddy Current Group. I've been with the business about 26 years in a variety of engineering roles uh, from instrument development through probes and applications development. So we put together a series of uh, short videos covering a variety of our instruments, probes, and applications. Hopefully you find these useful in your selling activities. Today I'd like to show you a little bit about the DM5E. It's our basic corrosion thickness gauge. Uh, corrosion gauge meaning it's typically used uh, for inspecting steel uh, pipe or uh, looking for corrosion in piping and tanks and other vessels. Uh, has a precision of three decimal places of an inch, two decimal places of a uh, millimeter. So a hundredth of a millimeter or one thousandth of an inch. This instrument uses only dual element probes. Uh, you may be familiar with the uh, dual element probes. Pulse on one side, listen on the other. Uh, measure the time that it takes the sound to move through the part. And you can turn that into a thickness measurement. Shown with the instrument here are some of the most common probes. The DA501 is probably the most commonly used probe with the DM5E. It uh, is 5 megahertz general purpose probe, has a measurement range of about 1 millimeter to 200 millimeters, uh, 40 thousandths of an inch to 8 inches. The DA503 is a lower frequency, uh, larger diameter probe. It is uh, ideally suited to coarse grained materials, uh, highly attenuative materials, thicker materials. With the DA503, you have a measurement range of 5 millimeters to 300 millimeters, or about uh, 200 thousandths to 12 inches. All right, so thicker materials, DA503. And we have our fingertip probes that are commonly used. The DA512 has very small contact area, ideal for reaching into tight spaces, ideal for reaching into pits on the surface of materials to take uh, measurements of remaining wall thickness. Uh, another common fingertip probe is the FH2E, a little bit bigger contact uh, area, uh, a little more versatile. Uh, you can work with thicker materials easily with that. And we also offer the DA590, which is a high temperature probe. Uh, you can measure uh, on materials up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit with this probe. Uh, it's built to take uh, the high temperatures. Now the DM5E, unlike the DMS Go, our more advanced uh, gauge, uh, doesn't offer uh, temperature compensation for the measurement, so you're still getting the raw thickness measurement, but the, the DA590 probe is available to work at higher temperatures. All of these probes are completely supported by the instrument. It makes setup and use extremely easy. This is a very simple gauge to use. Um, step one, if you're going to use any of the probes, is to make sure that you have the proper probe selected on the instrument. So to do that, uh, you have the instrument running, press the mode button, and it brings up the list of available probes, or the list of supported probes. You can scroll up and scroll down. You notice there's a black cursor. As I use the up and down keys, I can move through the list and the black cursor follows. The black cursor is not telling me which probe is currently selected though. The selection of the probe is indicated by the greater than, less than brackets on either side of the selected probe. So if I were going to use the DA-512 probe, for instance, I would scroll down to DA-512, I would press the soft key under select, and now you notice the greater than, less than symbols are down to the DA-512. So with that, I can go back to my measurement menu, plug in my DA-512 probe, and the first thing it tells me is I need to calibrate. All right, so we just plugged on a new probe, we need to run through a calibration. So I say calibrate, I'm going to do a full calibration. I zero the probe. And the DM5E typically uses auto zero. So it's pulsing and listening on each side of the probe right now as the probe's held in the air. Zero is the probe. Now it tells me to couple the probe to the cow block. Put it on my half inch step of my cow block. Remove it. So 12.65 millimeters. Let's say I know that's 12.700 millimeters. I can make my adjustments. And it tells me that gives a calculated uh, velocity of 5,919 meters per second. 
fully believable for carbon steel, 12.7, 19 millimeters, 6 millimeters. Okay. So that's how you select the probe and step through a cal simple calibration. Two options that we should talk about for the DM5E. Uh, number one is data recorder. Uh, the instrument is capable of being set up with data recorder files, either lists or grids. As you're taking measurements, you store those, uh, the data, the measurements in the instrument. You can later take a, the instrument back, connect it to a PC. You can use our Ultramate software or we also include an Excel macro that allows you to pull the data recorder uh, readings into either an Excel spreadsheet or you can bring them into our Ultramate uh, thickness data management software. The other option that's available in this instrument is dual multi-mode and what that does is provides the capability to measure, to take measurements through coatings. So if you have painted uh, material, if you have epoxy coatings on material, you can easily take thickness readings through those coatings. However, the coating thickness uh, in normal dual mode uh, will be added to the, the thickness of the base steel. So it's going to throw your, your reading off. And because the paint is typically about one third of the sound velocity of steel, 10 thousandths of paint will increase your thickness measurement by about 30 thousandths of an inch. So we offer the dual multi-mode to compensate for that. It takes multiple back wall measurements uh, through the steel only, ignores the coating thickness, and you get the, the raw base material thickness. Uh, now, the dual multi-mode is only supported on this instrument with the DA501 probe and the DA512 probe. So a common question we have, folks will buy a DA503 or an FH2E, uh, very commonly used probes but only the regular dual mode is supported on these other probes. If you want dual multi to measure through thick uh, coating, DA501, DA512 takes care of your, your dual multi needs. One other quick thing to consider is that while the fingertip probes come with building cables, DA501, DA503 both use the KBA 533 cable, so you need to make sure you buy the appropriate cable with the probe. And the DA590 has a specialty cable that goes with it. It's available either in plastic or armored versions, and the uh, plastic insulated or armored uh, special connections for the probe to, to withstand the high temperature. So make sure when ordering the instrument, uh, we do offer uh, instrument packages with probes included. If you buy the DA501 probe as part of the package with the instrument, you know, you get the, the appropriate cable and everything with it. But if you're buying the probes aftermarket, make sure you order the, the appropriate cable at the same time. So that's major features of the DM5E and its associated probes. Thank you for joining us. So to get more information on the instrument you just saw or any other technical aspect of the UT or Eddy Current uh, product line, please reach out to remote services at bhge.com or call our 866 number. Those will be provided to you uh, in the comments down below for if you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, also included in the video. So thank you.